All right, guys, so with all of the hype of LR Blue Vegito and LR Blue Gogeta, there is a couple of other units that are honestly pretty unbelievable. Um, we have this Future Trunks in my right here, and they are ridiculous. They have an active skill. They are going to do insane amounts of damage. They are a little bit restricted um, to fighting certain types of enemies, but... I'm not so sure that's going to end up being really that big of a deal because I, I, I found like with, with certain restrictions, it's not so bad. And especially on like some of these teams, like, okay, so this Mai for the Time Traveler team or this Trunks and Mai, right? Um, if we're talking about them for the Time Traveler team or the Future team, they are going to be exceptional, right? Well, here's the thing about those two teams. They have a ridiculously gigantic, really good roster of characters, right? So, like, even if, like, you don't want to use... Oh, <laughs> even if you don't want to use, like, Trunks and Mai, right? Oh, okay. Yeah, let's just give it all to Vegito, the best unit in the game, I think. So, that's that's fine. That's that's fine. That's fine. No worries about that. Um, there's a lot of other options you can run in these teams, right? And then it's just one of those things where it's like, okay, I know I'm going up against a future enemy or a Goku Black or a Masu enemy. Well, then you just let Trunks and Mai go ahead and do their thing, so... Um, okay, this is going to be a very crazy turn right out of the gate. Um, again, Trunks and Mai, they do a lot. I I'll just read everything they do real quick, right? So here's what Trunks and Mai do. They have 100% attack and defense at the start of turn. Then they get three key and 100% attack and defense if there is a character on the team whose name contains Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan. Wow, Mai one-shotted him. Okay. Oh, Mai has extra damage in this event, doesn't she? Okay, whatever. Um, it doesn't, it's not really a big deal. Um... So, of course, there's a couple of different characters we could use for that. Uh, no, namely, uh, LR Vegito Blue right here. Um, he certainly would work. Uh, work very well, by the way, um, uh, of being that type of unit. I'm not going to use B-Pan's active skill yet. We're, we're going to hang on to her for a little bit. Um, actually, wait a minute. Huh. You know, I think we're actually going to use B-Pan... Um, I think we're going to use V-Pan's uh, active skill next turn, actually, now that I'm looking at it. Hold on. Okay, anyway. So, Trunks and Mai, right? 100% attack and defense at the start of turn. Then they get three key and 100% attack and defense again if there's a Super Saiyan Blue on the team. You know, we could use the Blue Goku, Blue Vegeta, or Blue Vegito. Um, obviously, you know, the Vegitos and a couple... The Int Vegeta is about to get his Awakening, I, or excuse me, his EZA, and I think it's going to come during this anniversary, honestly, which is going to be crazy. Okay, so who is going to be better for Trunks and Mai here? It's, um... Let me see here. So Trunks and Mai have Brainiacs. Bravery. Rival duo. Okay, so Mai. Mai is definitely going to be a better support type unit um, to use here with the Trunks and Mai card. Okay. So, I mean, this is going to be a really strong attack right away. Um, let's go ahead and see what they do. And then again, they do have their active skill, which we'll bust out next turn with LRB Pan on rotation. So uh, it's going to be pretty crazy. Okay, let's see. 3.68. Okay, this is my first time seeing this. Wow, that Trunks looked really good right there. That was my first time seeing that animation. Okay, uh, pretty good by our boy Trunks. Um, then, continuing Trunks and Mai's passive, they gain another 100% attack if there's a future category enemy. And then they get three key and another 100% attack and a guaranteed crit if there's an enemy whose name contains Zamasu or Goku Black. So... Basically, going up against a Zamasu or Goku Black unit, they have 400% attack and 200% defense. Oh, and you thought I was done. <laughs> no, because they also um, greatly raise attack and defense one turn. Because they are just... Uh, these these new units are very, very interesting, right? Like, a lot of them uh, can do some very interesting things. Yeah, we're just beating up on... This whole video, I'm just going to be beating up on Zamasu. So I hope y'all don't mind Zamasu getting just freaking blasted out of here. And then this behemoth right here, Vegito Blue. Oh, I mean, a, a turn four transformation is, like, really significant for Vegito Blue and Gogeta Blue. It's going to allow them to be incredibly relevant in, like, all events. Because you are going to see them transform... 95% of the time, 97% of the time, 98% of the time, uh, Blue Vegito and Blue Gogeta will be transforming. Like, you're not going to, you know, some of these units, you know, it's like, yeah, they've got this amazing transformation. Yes, so great. But then you don't see it, right? Well, it's not like that for Vegito and Gogeta, so that's good. Okay. <laughs> 
So we're going to go ahead and use their active skill, which is the Mafuba. Now, we need to, for context, kind of put all this together. So, again, Trunks and Mai get 400% attack. Then, their active skill temporarily increases attack by 628% and deals guaranteed crits and stuns the enemy and then their own defense is half. So, if we take all of that into account, what that means is Trunks and Mai should be over a... They, they literally are getting over a thousand percent attack on their passive. What is there? Okay, so at 175. Okay, this is gonna be fun. Um, okay, let's use some Mafuba first. Let's go ahead and rock the Mafuba on Zamasu. See how much damage this is gonna do incredible damage. What's funny is I think I recently have been talking about they need to add Mafuba trunks into the game, too. Was I, I think I was talking about when the last resort category, right? I was like, yeah, there, there needs to be. Oh. There needs to be a Mafuba Trunks added. And, um, yeah, I, I guess they, they thought, hey, yeah, we, we, we agree. <laughs> All right, so they did the Mafuba, which did a 15 million crit. Um, now, I would love to see right here how much, what's their attack stat going to be? 5 mil? 6 mil right here? 4.64. <laughs> uh, balanced. <laughs> Very balanced. Uh, now, look at, dude, we're going to kill some awesome. <laughs> Like, Zamasu definitely has to heal up soon, but, like, we're gonna, like, just showcasing this unit, like, with the Vegito and this Trunks and my unit, we're gonna get close to killing Zamasu. We potentially could kill him right here. I mean, I might as well go for it, right? <laughs> Let's go. Let's go for the kill on Zamasu. Let's see if we can get it. I don't know. Oh, here, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna transform a Trunks right here, um, because potentially we could create a whole lot of tech orbs for Vegito Blue. Now, I've, you know, I've used Vegito Blue a lot now, by the way. Um, after using him enough, I think I, I personally, myself, am probably going to focus on additionals for him because I want him to get his additional attack every single time he's in blue. I want him to have three attacks always. Oh, that's a bummer right there. It's okay. We'll go ahead and give that to Vegito Blue. Um, that's going to be an 18 key. And we'll give that to Trunks. I don't think we'll be able to finish off some monster, but it's okay. Because I want Vegito, because Vegito Blue, every time he attacks, he gets 7% attack and defense at Blue. So I want him to just be doing three attacks every single turn. So I'm probably going to give him, I mean, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I actually did get a gold um, three additional equipment uh, from the event uh, yesterday, the first time the event was up. So what I might do is I might put that on my Vegito Blue, honestly. Oh, so good. And then, like, he raises attack. Like, look at this. Look at these numbers. Like, it's ins it's sickening what this guy does. <laughs> it's sickening. And, like, his defense is really good, too. It's not like he's a glass cannon. Like, you know, SDR Gogeta, I feel like you he could get caught, right? Like, he could get caught. It could be kind of bad. I mean, even Vegito could. But, like, depending upon if you put them in the right situation. Like, usually if you got them in the second spot, they're completely good. Like, you're not going to have to worry about them getting slapped around at all. Um, if Zamasu is not super attacking, right away here, he could be in trouble, actually. Um, or if, excuse me, if Zamasu does not heal right away, because I see him healing, Mai could stun him, and we potentially could actually kill Zamasu right here in this showcase. I've, I don't think I've ever killed Zamasu before. Like, I, I just, I, it's, you know, it's something that's not hard, hasn't been hard for a while, but it's just not something I was really aiming to do. And now I'm like, 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 it's like I wasn't even aiming to do this. It just, like, happened easily. Like, this, this unit does so much freaking damage. And then, like, you know, the LR Vegito Blue unit does so much damage. Yeah, he's done. We're going to kill him. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> See you, Zamasu. Have fun, my boy. <laughs> All right. So now, uh, I mean, yeah, LR Vegito Blue. This is probably what would happen if he <laughs> went up against this Zamasu. <laughs> I can't believe we're going to kill him. All right. I'm going to go ahead and do that right there. Um, that's going to give Vegito Blue a little bit of extra damage. We'll go ahead and give him that. And um, adios, Zamasu. It was fun, my boy. Uh, because he's susceptible to being stunned. Uh, you know, we were able to prevent him from getting that healing in. And then between Trunks and Mai, like, I mean, we see it. They do a 3 million attack stat, like, just themselves pretty much against a uh, Zamasu or Goku Black unit. Now, when this unit releases and I ramble them and stuff, we'll, we'll test them out. Like, you know, how good they are. If there's not a blue, uh, Super Saiyan Blue on the team, you know, we'll test them out. Um, you know, just in different types of events and stuff like that. Because, like, on this team, you know, the future team with a Super Saiyan Blue going up against the Zamasu or Goku Black. Oh, bye. <laughs> See you, Rose. <laughs> but, you know, in this environment, they completely dominate, right? But uh, it'll be interesting to see. There's no way Mai can finish this guy in one hit. I, I refuse. And plus, I'm going to do this, so she can't. 
Um, I, I just don't think this unit will be that bad, but it's like one of those things where like you're going up against a future enemy or even a Goku Black or Zamasu enemy, and you know, okay, I I'm definitely going to rock Trunks and Mai here because the amount of damage they're going to do is just going to be so sickening. And then that Mafuba, like the fact, okay, so you could activate the Mafuba after three turns, and there's an ally attacking in the same name who names whose name contains Trunks Team Future, Trunks Future, or My Future. Um, by the way, that's like all of the good Trunkses, and Mai is an amazing godly support type unit on the Future and Time Traveler team. So like, uh, Future Super Battle Road, for example, just got destroyed by this Trunks and Mai card. Like, they're gonna absolutely implode it with their active skill. Like, that final stage against Goku Black and Zamasu, like, you know, that, that Mafuba is gonna be, I think, nearly a one-shot for, like, either the Zamasu or Goku Black, so... I definitely can't wait to test that out. Um, let me know what you guys think of this unit. I think they are ridiculously impressive. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all next time.